on an air museum out here close to Palm Springs. And so, trying to find a parking place. This wall map shows that Pearl Harbor was bombed December the 7th, 1941. And these lines are showing that the airline flights that went over into like Hiroshima, they got bombed on August the 6th, 1945. And then in um, Nagasaki on August the 9th, 1945, they got the atom bomb dropped. And that's what really culminated the uh, Japanese war. Now the map has all these blue lines showing you the aerial flights that went into fighting different islands that the Japanese uh, controlled you know, during the war. This one airplane is being pulled out of the hangar that I had taken a picture of earlier. It looked really sleek. So I noticed that they are putting some outside and then bringing some more inside on the hangar. They've lifted a helicopter up into the ceiling. Look like this one just now being built. Here has to do with the Vietnam War. You know, fortunately for myself, I never got to have to fight in a war. cockpit of one of these World War II planes. I guess in the back of these planes or behind the cockpit they have the instrument guys working really tight to get in here. Gotta really watch your head going down this uh, gateway here.
All the planes have women painted on them. There's Angela. Here I am at this uh, Air Force Museum. Really kind of embarrassed because I had no idea that we were fighting two wars at, at once. I've already filmed the part about Japan. Well, here's about Europe. And um, oddly, I didn't know this, both Japan and Germany, you know, gave up in the 1945s. Both of them did. So we were split between sides of the world on the wars we were fighting. Gosh, I just didn't know all this stuff.